Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you guys how to weld or connect different 3D printed pieces of your helmet together. So this probably applies to those of you that have smaller printers that have to print out separate pieces and you can't print out a full helmet in one go and you need to connect the pieces together. This is a simple technique that I'll show you today that just requires a cheap soldering iron and some tape. That's all you need, so let's get to it. As always, the first thing you're going to need to do is break off all that support plastic from your prints. You do not want that there when you weld your pieces together because it's going to be a lot harder to remove it or impossible to remove it once the pieces are welded together. So make sure to remove all the plastic and have your parts ready to be welded together. Once you've removed all the plastic, you're going to take all the pieces and your soldering iron and a mask outside because it creates a pretty strong smell and you don't want to be inhaling all those plastic particles. So just as with a puzzle, you're going to identify which pieces need to be secured first. And the process is actually pretty simple. You're going to use a little piece of tape to secure the parts together. And then on the inside of the helmet, you're going to just run these X's over the seam and that's gonna bond the helmet together. With the Tank Trooper helmet, I started with the bottom pieces and then attached the dome. And then with the Arf Trooper, I secured the visor pieces together and then did the front face piece, the back piece, and then attached the dome afterwards. Here's a closer look at the helmets after they're welded together. Once again, the X's I was talking about are only on the inside, um, which you can see here. On the outside, you don't want to do the X's because that will require a lot of filling and smoothing and just make your life a lot more difficult. In searing these X's into the parts, you are quite literally melting the plastic together, creating a strong bond so that your helmet won't fall apart. And on the outside, I'll ever so gently run the soldering iron to not create any large divots, but just to secure it a little bit more and make sure that that the seam isn't see-through. And it's the same process with the ARF Trooper helmet. Um, getting inside the ARF Trooper helmet was a little bit more difficult, so you might be, not be able to run X's like in the other helmet, but if you get enough dashes to melt those pieces together, you'll be just fine. So once again, melting those pieces together with the soldering iron is the way to go. On the outside, I did put a few divots and a few dashes to secure because that part right there is going to be covered by the visor so it's not going to be visible doesn't even need to be smoothed out necessarily but on the parts that are seen i'm making sure that there are no divots because i'm going to want to smooth those out i'm going to want to make them flush but once again with the visor i was able to run those x's and that's basically all there is to it there are many ways to do this. You can try glue, but soldering the pieces together has worked for me. So I hope this tutorial has helped. And if you have any questions, let me know. Please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. If there are any other video tutorials that you guys would like to see on my channel, please let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one.